So, so we're going to have a little discussion here talking about the knowledge question and whether or not we think fear is the driving factor in decision making, whether it's a different emotion or whether it's reason or something else. So I'd like to open it up with Matt. Um, I would like to say that reason has a bigger effect on our decision making rather than emotion. Um, we can bring up the problem with the 2000 embryos and the, the child in a burning house. So in this problem we see that the house is burning down, you have like less than two minutes, you can only save one thing, the, the child or the 2000 embryos. Um, although you may see like it's a living child and like you may think that oh it's, a, it's, it's breathing and you might want to save that. There's 2,000 embryos, and that's a lot more lives than just a, a child. So I'd like to say that like reason is a bigger factor in our decision making. I agree. Well, I kind of disagree. I feel like in a real situation, in that situation, I feel like um, instead of reasoning, I feel like emotion will kick in rather than reasoning. I feel like your emotions will say, since the baby, since it's the five-year-old baby or the five-year-old kid, I feel like since like technically it's alive that you're rather save someone who's alive than someone that who's not like than the 2000 embryos that has like not been born yet so therefore i feel like that the uh, i feel like emotions will kick in rather than reason yeah with that one it could kind of go either way the emotions would be uh saving the five-year-old because i mean if you're seeing a five-year-old that's living breathing and staring at you then you're gonna have a lot more emotions connected to that one then with the embryos, but if you do choose the embryos, then it's more reason because, of course, 2,000 lives is more than one mm -hmm. life. But what I think is that with this RLS, or I guess in uh, decision making as a whole, I think it's more emotion because emotions tend to take over our decision making and we sort of use that more than reasoning a lot of the time. So if we look back at 9 11, uh, after the terrorist attacks on the Twin Towers, uh, the U.S. really amped up our security in uh, airports and stuff like that. So the TSA was made. So that's a whole government agency just after a terrorist attack. And that decision making was based a lot on emotion, a lot on fear and anger. So there's the anger that that had just happened. We had just been attacked at our home. And so they wanted to protect our borders or protect our uh, airspace our planes and stuff and so I guess it's fear and anger because we're scared that another attack is going to happen so we make that security and but also anger because we're angry at what happened so then we took those next steps but wouldn't you think that's also like could include reason like oh these terrorists attacked us so it would be reasonable to include these new TSA protocols in a way it could be reason but I don't know if it's that reasonable to base a whole government agency and totally change the security protocols after one attack or after one day of attack. So I don't know if it's too much of reason. I'm sure there is some reason, but a lot of it is emotion because we're scared that it's going to happen again. If it was five different inc incidents and then we're thinking, all right, maybe now it's time to implement some better security then that would be more reason. But as a whole, I think it's more of an emotion thing with 9-11. Yeah, but like, it wasn't just any small attack. It was like a big terrorist attack. Like, thousands of people died. Even they, they even attacked the Pentagon. So it's more than just one attack. So I think it's reasonable to also include the TSA other than just emotion. There's definitely some reason, but I think <laughs> emotion is the driving factor in that one. Okay. So, and then with our RLS, I also think emotion was a big part in it because the higher ranks in the military decided to implement this training because they were scared that soldiers were going to give up valuable information if they started being interrogated. They also had the fear that our soldiers were going to be sexually assaulted while uh, in interrogation as a POW. Mm -hmm. So 
And even in this, we see that emotion kind of took over ethics, where they started to stop thinking ethically, and they didn't think about, okay, well, it's wrong to sexually assault someone in training. But they kind of kicked that to the side and thought, well, it's for the greater good. They need to be prepared. But it was also based off that fear that people are going to give up valuable information. But like, even looking into ethics, like, I would think it's ethically, ethically wrong to make the pilots, like, it's mandatory for them to do. I think that's wrong. It should always be voluntary. And also, you can look at the fact that the soldiers know what they're getting into. They're volunteering for this. They can um, leave this training at any time they want. So... Also, that, that like plays kind of like uh, emotions too, like how fear, because because um, some soldiers agree with the sexual assault and some soldiers uh, don't agree with it, mm -hmm. and I feel like um, the soldiers that like have been through it and said like it's like not that bad, like it's doable, like if everyone could do it, then you can do it. I feel like that's like um, how like other soldiers who have who have not been through it feel like that, like oh like if they have done it, um, they should too, and they should be able to survive the sexual assault. Yeah, so then it would be like, I guess you could say unethically right, but it's personal. I guess that's where reason can also come into because they're like ultimately preparing for the future. It's something that, um, although it is like bad and it's like physically harming them, it's supposed to prepare them for future wars so they don't give any uh, valuable information to the enemies in the future wars. Yeah, so I guess that sort of fighting on the side of reason for the mm -hmm. decision making because it's a lot of reasoning that uh, they see like different interrogations so they use that as a, a reason to implement the SEER training and different aspects of the SEER training so they're reasoning through that and they decide let's add this training for those who are likely to be captured so I, I guess that's also another decision that they made to not include it for all military members, but just for those that have a high chance of being captured, so pilots, Navy SEALs, special operations. That also ties into uh, human emotions, or human sciences, because uh, human sciences uh, says that uh, uh, psychologically, uh, what you think personally what is right for, uh, to affect the decision making. So how you said, like, oh, like only focus on pilots, that's like psychologically, like, oh, like this is for the best. And with the Milgram experiment and how like the volunteer like they have contrasting fears like fear of the well-being of the learner or fear of the well-being or fear of like the fact that they're not going to listen to the authority like what role do you think uh, ethics plays into this emotion so like um, for those who like consider ethics do you think that they would most likely stop the experiment, or do you think that they would continue the experiment and help the studies of the authorities? I think if you if you value ethics, you would stop the uh, experiment, or like you wouldn't continue doing the whole like shocking thing, mm -hmm. because I mean it's of course unethical. I mean the study in itself, if it was actually hurting someone, it would be unethical. So if you're looking at it, at it ethically, it would be wrong. But there's also other uh, psychological effects in that study. So you have the authority playing into that. So that kind of also overrides ethics in some uh, capacity because you stop thinking about whether this is right or wrong. And you start thinking about, okay, well, this person's a scientist. It's a study. They probably gave you credentials. So you're now not focusing on the ethics. You're focusing more on the uh, authority. So like the... There's the other psychological factors that play into this.